fishing for smallmouth bass. Fishing for smallmouth bass. What kind of crankbait should we use? Good morning, guys and girls. January 12th, that's right, January 12th. We keep having this incredible weather. Isn't it amazing? Chronicles 26.5 says, He sought God in the days of Zechariah. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. Wow, you hear that? He didn't do that on his own. God made him prosper. I'm reading from the manuscript of our new Catch a Better Life book, which will be out, I hope, in a couple of months here. Uh, but this is our uh, devotional for January 12th, our scripture, our devotional, and our fishing tip. If you are not subscribed to the Catch of the Day channel, go in there and subscribe to that channel right now. If you are subscribed, share, 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 share. Chronicles 26, 5, he sought God in the days of Zechariah, and as long as he sought the Lord, as long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. Everyone who fishes seeks help most every single fishing trip. We check around the lake report. We check in all the internet and see what's going on there. Fishing reports. And if we know a friend who's fished the lake or maybe even one that lives on the lake, we give them a call to find out what's happening. What are they biting? What's the water level like? What's the water temperature like? What's going on? We want to make that fishing trip a really good one. That's why we do all of that research and getting ready is because we're getting ready to go spend a day fishing or two, three days fishing or a week. We want to make that as good as possible. How much more important is it to seek God, to seek God in everything we do? And listen to this, and seek Him daily, daily. Today's verse God made is about God making a man prosper. He's talking about Uzziah. Uzziah, that's right. Uzziah, who became king of Judah, 16 years old. 16 years old, and he reigned for 52 years years. He was king from the time he was 16 till he was 68 years old. Think about that. Think about that. 52 years. When we think of prospering, we usually think only about money. How about God making us prosper in our health? I've mentioned before, I've spent one day in the hospital in my entire life, one night in the hospital. How about God making us prosper in our family, in our family? You know, you can't take your money to heaven with you, but you can take your family to heaven with you. You can't take your new trucks or your boats or your fishing tackle, but you can take your family to heaven with us. How about God making you prosper in your family and our relationships in our church? Some of us go to tremendously great churches. We're prospering in the church that we're in, our peace, our joy, so much more. God will make you prosper in basically everything that you do. I think most of us want to prosper, and when we seek God in all that we do, we will. That's right. That's just that simple. He sought God in the days of Zechariah, and as long as he sought, sought the Lord, God made him prosper. As long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. Can I tell you, if you're having a struggle right now in any of these areas we're talking about in your life, financially, health-wise, family-wise, relationship-wise, job-wise, doesn't really matter. Seek the Lord daily in everything you do, and He will make you prosper. Here's our tip for today, fishing uh, for smallmouth. You want to use little small, uh, little square bill crankbaits that don't make contact with the bottom. Now, most of the time you want your crankbaits to co make contact with the bottom, but you really don't want it when you're fishing for smallmouth. You want to use the little small crankbaits that don't contact the bottom. A lot of them that only run two or three feet deep. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.